The forced scarcity has continued to subside in most urban cities of the country for several weeks, though still biting in some states. The NNPC, DPR, and other relevant agencies have continued to step to end the problem, including the dispensing of fuel free to motorists at Pilling Station holding fuel. Speaking to ITV News, the spokesman of the DPR, Bulama, said the agency has increased its number of sanctions to marketers that either divert or hold petroleum products. Notably among these is the pain of 200,000 naira per litre diverted to the TSA. We have a sanction of 275 naira per litre per every litre that you divert. So some that divert as much as about 11,000 litres, they were fined 3 point something million. You have to pay into the TSA account and then bring the report to, uh, I mean, the payment slip to DPR. Some also were fined, depending on the quantity, like I've said, some 20 something thousand liters, uh, 20 something thousand liters, they were fined as much as uh, 7 million. But the greatest one we found so far, there was this filling station that diverted two trucks and they were found 26 million naira. When asked how many feeding stations were still across the country, Bulama said. For now, so far, we've not closed any feeding station. And the reason for our refusal to close feeding station is because during scarcity, if you close feeding station, you are compounding the problem. You are not solving the problem. But, of course, the big hammer is waiting for them. Immediately after the scarcity, we will definitely advise PPMC, which for now is the only source of product, not to give them product, and we will only deal with marketers that are genuinely into the business and are prepared to help Nigerians. Some of the stations that, uh, even in those locations that are considered sealed, that is outside Abuja, yeah. when they visit such obscure stations and they discover that they have product, so what they did in their own case is to immediately dispense of the whole product. And because they are illegal structures, they now seal the station. As Nigerians continue to experience forced scarcity at first period, the question on the leaves of many is, when will Nigerians stop experiencing this annual biting problem? Al Hassan Bala, ATV News, Abuja.